Hi everyone, I'm Lynn Langett, and in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to set up an Amazon Web Services billing alarm. The reason I'm making this is I've had uh, yet another person I've worked with get an unexpected high AWS bill. And so this is something that I think, unfortunately, all of us who have worked with AWS have experienced. So I want to show you how easy it is to set up a billing alarm and suggest that if you're trying out services in particular, you do this because you it's very easy to forget to turn the services off and get surprised with an unexpected big bill. But just in general, it's a, it's a great thing to do. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's super easy. So here I am at the AWS console, and I'm going to go ahead and go into my console. And now I've signed into my console, and unlike some of the other cloud vendors, you can't see at the main console which services you have, what's running, that kind of stuff. So it's really easy if you don't have the discipline to go into the services to forget if you've tried something out. And I know me as a big data person, this has happened to me personally, and it certainly happened to my customers. So I want to just show you something that uh, you're going to want to do uh, in general, which is go to your account and go to billing and cost management. And if you were unaware of this, this was a relatively recent change AWS made to their billing uh, dashboard so it was easier to read. So this is the first tip, basically, to uh, just visit this on a somewhat regular basis so you can get an understanding of, of what your charges look like. The second thing and the purpose of the screencast is to show you how to set up a billing alarm. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on set your first billing alarm. So here I am inside of CloudWatch, and uh, this it can help me monitor my charges on the AWS bill by sending me email alerts when charges exceed thresholds that I define. So I'm going to just go ahead and click Create Alarm. And I'm going to enter, enter a spending threshold, and I'm going to say 50 bucks because this is just a test account. And I can send a notification then to me or to a pipeline. Now I've already set up my email um, because I set an alarm. So the very first time you do this, you can add a new uh, recipient and then you have to just verify the email, put your email address in. And I've already covered that step. Of course, you can become more sophisticated and send notifications to data pipelines and you know other sort of workflow situations. But I just want to show you the quick and dirty thing here. And I'm going to say create alarm. And this alarm um, needs more data, so I'm going to modify it. So I'm going to go back. And here I where I set up the amount of charges and the time interval. And I want to set this for one day. So more than 50 bucks in a day. So I'm, you know, really cheap. But if I turn on one of those big data services, that'll immediately let me know that I uh, need to turn it off if I've, you know, done it for a POC or something. And I say next. And then down here under Actions, whenever this alarm is alarm, so the threshold is hit, the state's okay, or the state's in, uh, insufficient. So different kinds of alarms. You can also put additional notifications. Um, so if you wanted to have, you know, more notification endpoints, or you can put auto scaling actions, which, again, you point to certain groups, and then you point to certain actions add or remove instances, so on and so forth. And so now since I added the information, here's my billing alarm. And you get the graphical output and you can see the history of uh, what you did there. So and if you want to bill for specific um, services, they have EC2 EBS elastic load balancing and um, simple notification services called out here. So there are certainly many more sophisticated ways to do this, but it just, as I just showed you, it takes five minutes to set this up. And really, if you're doing testing on AWS, you want to do this so that you can get an alert in case you try out some high powered service and you forget to turn it off so you don't get that big bill. So this was setting AWS billing alarms. This is Lynn Langett. Have a great day.